in the deep end with Coach Murad alongside. And um, let's look back at Rolling Hills. It was the final dual meet of the year at home here at TAM. And as with every week, Murad, I mean, it, it, it is about matchups, but boy, I think this meet was really, really about some key matchups in that meet. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of good matchups. Throughout the age groups, there were a lot of good races. Uh, we ended up doing quite well. I think our kids really, uh, they came out strong at the beginning of the meet, which was nice to see. We've been, some of the meets, we've been a, a little slow in getting momentum, and our kids um, kind of pick up, pick up momentum usually around the breast, fly, and uh, I am, but this meet, they came out of the gate really strong. Yeah, there were so many, so many key, close, great, great, just, just beginning to end. And we should mention that this being the final home dual meet of the year, it was a kind of a final curtain call for uh, Taylor Bontz, who is a senior outgoing, and then uh, with Sam Osborne, Osborne also. Yeah. Ah. You know, that's... Uh, one of the bittersweet things about Summer League is, you know, you have these kids that you really get to know, you coach for years and years, and then, you know, like all good things, it has to come to an end mm -hmm. and it's time for them to move on. So uh, this was their last uh, home meet, but not their last meet with the Seals. We still fortunately have another month with them. This being your last home meet, what are your, what are your emotions about that? I don't know. You don't know? I thought, the star of the meet was Hannah Rose Grant. Here's a girl that's, that I can remember when she was just, just, just learning like the basic strokes over yeah. at Strawberry Wreck. But in her, it was her final home meet of the season. She's moving, her family's moving to Texas. And uh, boy, did she rise to the occasion. She had an outstanding meet. You know, she, all three races were fantastic. Um, great relay swim, she was on fire. You know, simplest term, she was in her groove, uh, you know, executing everything that she'd been working on really well. Significant time drops for a kid who's already very fast. Let's, uh, let's look ahead because it, we, we had mentioned the great matchups that we just saw, but these individuals could see each other again just a few days from now at All Stars yeah. up at IVC. All Stars is going to be fun. It's uh, you know, as a coach, I take All-Stars as a preview for championships. Mm -hmm. You know, it gives us an opportunity, you know, a little less than a month out to see if there's any final tweaks or changes we need to make in our approach. Um, you know, where our team is going to be strong at champs and, you know, where we have to, uh, you know, add a little bit more. Um, so it should be pretty exciting because you really get to preview basically the two or three fastest heats of championships. I like to see it as a rehearsal for them, basically. You know, All-Star is a fun meet, but, it, you know, it, it doesn't have the gravity of championships, you know, because it's not a whole team affair. That'll do it for the In the Deep End show for this particular week. We certainly appreciate you guys tuning in. Stand by, as we like to say, for more updates regarding the team right here on StrawberrySeals.com.